Hey guys, uh, real quick, just a quick video to show you my theme pointed at Chicago, which I'm kind of jazzed about. And if I move over here to my makeshift operating station, I have my my nice little tiny operating position here in the backyard. So this is where I'm having my fun. Uh, it's afternoon. I've been trying to make a contact here. Um, not having any luck. I think oh, there's a bug on my microphone. Um, I think that uh, oof, God, that thing was sticky. Oof, something should that should be killed. And uh, trying to enjoy myself before the mosquitoes come out because when the mosquitoes come out around here they will carry you away which is fun but uh, not necessarily all that great so let's see if I can make a contact I'm in St. Joseph Michigan and I'm sending a uh, uh, radio signal to Chicago via that beam antenna I showed you and let's see if anybody answers me so let's see what happens uh, let's go KD8 TUT St. Joseph Michigan listening for calls We'll see if anybody comes back. What are you doing, buddy? Thanks for your info. I downloaded it, but it didn't help. Stupid files corrupt or incomplete. Good afternoon. There we go. I'll go through the, the call here. That's Bob, KC9JYX. Hey, KC9JYX, KD8, TUT, St. Joseph, Michigan. Hey, well, I'm glad the, the information helped. I'm sorry the file was corrupted. We were trying to open an RAR file or a RAR file. Hey, again, I had some QRM from my other radio. Uh, Roger, okay, yeah, uh, uh, KC9JYX, this is KD8, TUT, St. Joseph, Michigan. Uh, and uh, I was asking if the... Uh, did, did, was it a RAR file you were dealing with, uh, which usually comes in multiple segments and you were missing a part? I don't know exactly what kind of file it is. Um, you, I'd have to show it to you. It's uh, something that 5YI sent me for the... Uh, for the Chicago, uh, from St. Joseph, Michigan. M uh, tests. But uh, it turns out the damn thing, uh, I'm getting a message. Alright, Roger, we'll maybe get another copy of it, that 7-zip, uh, the Windows 7-zip program that usually does very, very, fairly well. Um, hey, uh, listen, uh, you got trapped into doing a video uh, with me, uh, so your audio is being recorded while well, there's a video of me talking to you, uh, making the trip over to Chicago, because I wanted to put a video up on the web showing that it can be done. So the question I had is, how's my audio on that side, Bob? All right, Roger, but you can understand what I'm saying, right? I am getting through. No, but just barely, Mike. Okay, well, I can live with that at these distances, my friend. Uh, so, that's good, and I'm glad the information helped, and uh, uh, I'm glad I'm making the repeater from St. Joe. It's nice to make it consistently. Good to hear you. Are you going to be at breakfast Saturday? Alrighty, then I'll see you then. That sounds good. Go ahead. I'll do is I'll see if I can download this onto my laptop and uh, we'll uh, we'll discuss it then. All right, my friend. All right, let me clear frequency for a second and uh, finish the video up, and then uh, I'll be back in a while. KD8 uh, TUT73. I'll be back. So.
Okay, so that's from St. Joseph, Michigan to Chicago, which is across the lake uh, with a beam. And um, I have a very minor beam. It's not a big expensive antenna. And I have a jury rigged uh, mast. It's not an expensive mast. And I have a 25 watt radio. And I think I can hear better than I can transmit at this point. Um, but it can be done. And uh, if I take my car up to the lakeshore uh, with a 3 dB gain antenna, I can absolutely get through. But uh, once I'm inland, and I'm over here next to the St. Joseph River over here, but I am up 30 feet over the uh, lake itself, I can get into Chicago, which is really great. So this is how I keep in touch with my ham radio club. And um, uh, down the road, uh, I'm looking at a uh, huge, uh, I think it's an uh, M6, I think it's the company that makes a a 13 element beam which I'll probably throw up but right now I can't do anything about it because if you look over here there's a tree that came down in a lightning storm here in the backyard so until that's cleared I'm not putting up any permanent antenna installations because I don't know what these guys are gonna are gonna do so anyway I'm Michael thanks for watching and uh, this is for uh, our club page uh, the 220 megahertz guys and gals. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.